Brexiteers are worried about the direction of Brexit under Theresa May. But one of the most outspoken MPs, actually a Conservative MP, Andrea Jenkins, we're in her constituency today, Morley and Outward, to see what she's got to say. You may remember her from this clip at PMQs. Did the Prime Minister inform the House at what point it was decided that Brexit means remain? Yeah. Let's go and see what she's got to say. said before about the, the letter going into the, the 1922 committee, and, and um, are, has your letter still gone in? Is that something you still stand by? Completely. I'm not um, somebody who keeps changing my mind. You know, I, I put my letter in and that's staying in there. I'm not going to be removing it. I mean, to be fair, you know, our Prime Minister, Theresa May, she's certainly resilient. Um, she keeps on with things. And, you know, I've, I haven't got a beef against her personally. Um, but I, I just think we need to see a stronger leadership, um, a more pro-Brexit vision, and actually just deliver what people voted for. Let's stop the fear-mongering of no deal. Um, I understand the government are preparing more for for it now and WTO which is music to my ears you know we need to do this and, and, and let's stop fear in this there has been too many um, scare stories and and it just doesn't help the situation and and the scare stories have clearly been put out by Remainers who who want this second referendum which I'm completely against. Is Andrea going to challenge Theresa May would she like to be Prime Minister there's a lot of backing from Brexiteers what do you make about that? Um, well I'm not delusional um, I don't think anybody in my intake should be going for Prime Minister you know we've only been MPs for three years um, so I, I want to back um, a Brexiteer candidate um, next time and that's what I certainly will do. What, would, what, what do you want to see the government doing moving forward? What would you like to see them change in their approach to Brexit or, or overall? I'd like to see them preparing more and selling up the benefits of WTO. I think that's important. And as I said earlier, it's about providing a positive vision post-Brexit for our country and make it positive. We're a blooming good country. Our people are great. So let, let's just start selling Britain, really. I am uh, Cameron Stevenson. I'm Deputy Chairman Membership of the Morgan Outward Conservatives. Brilliant. OK. Um, what are you making of what's going on with Brexit at the moment? Um, I think it's unfortunate, given that it could be a great opportunity for Britain to really change in the 21st century. Um, I think it's unfortunate that it's been handled quite poorly. I think given that Labour don't really have a policy on Brexit, or not one that lasts more than a day, um, maybe it's not helping Labour particularly, but I think maybe people just won't turn out to vote. But why would we vote? Because what would they they're going to just betray us. I'm uh, Mike Foster. I'm a member of the um, Morley and Outward uh, Conservative Association. Most people on the street are in completely baffled about the whole affair, to be honest with you. Do you think that's uh, the government's fault? Well, they have to take responsibility. Yes, their job is to do and to communicate as well. It's not just simply doing the negotiations. They need to clearly communicate with the people in this country. And I think that's probably where Theresa May is failing at the moment. What do you think the feeling is locally? Feeling locally, let's just get on with it and deliver what we voted for, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's frustration more than anything. Do you want to speak about Brexit? We're trying to find out what people in Yorkshire make of Brexit, getting out of London. Fuel London centric, yeah. so yeah, we're trying to get views in Yorkshire, so this uh, is why they're here today. What do you make of it? Or what do you make of Theresa May, Brexit, or the rest of it? Don't think a lot about her, but uh, we need to be out. So we're out, but Theresa May isn't <laughs> delivering. Out, <laughs> out, but Theresa May out as well. Ah. Brexit here in. Yeah, I'm a Mr. Mog man. They're getting out of Westminster, um, f you know, from London, and they want to find out what us in Yorkshire we think about Brexit, how it's going. Yep. So it'd be great to hear your views. Okay. Really. Well, I've always been a Brexiteer. Um, I agree with us leaving Europe right from day one. Um, I think that things are going a little bit slow though, um, but I do also feel that we need a deal. I don't think a no deal is, is going to be good enough for the country and particularly for West Yorkshire. Fear mongering doesn't help, does it, the negativity? Exactly. And yeah. I, I think, you know, we need to push out there as a government that, you know, we buy more from the EU um, yeah. than, than we sell to them, so they're going to lose out. Yeah. So, you know, we, we sh should have the upper hand over this. Mm. And with the 39 billion divorce settlement, we, we shouldn't give any money um, until we got the deal that, that we want, really. Absolutely. Uh, or any money whatsoever, ideally. Yeah, totally agree with that, totally agree. I think we just want the government to get on with it and do it and, and We've had the vote, let's just get on with it and do it and make the best that we can of it. I think she should be take a firmer line with Europe uh, and not let them dictate and at the end of the day, you know, uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what we're frightened of because they need us possibly more than we need them. Potentially need a stronger leader. We do, yes, I would say so, yeah. So, so, with, some, so with some Yorkshire spirit? Yes, plenty of Yorkshire spirit. <laughs> I'll speak to you about Brexit, right? This is Gary. I've just gone into one of our local pubs. We've never met before, have we, Gary? We haven't, no. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm your local MP. 
Yes. Yes, and um, we're just gathering um, sort of people's views on what they think of Brexit at the moment and how do you think the government's doing? Um, did you vote for Brexit yourself? So really just getting people's opinions up north in our in our well, area. Yeah, I, did, I did vote for it, definitely. And, and it wasn't for the people coming in and out of the country. It was the way that this country is being run by the EU. We've got to have a clean break, you know. What do you think about Theresa May? Well, she's never really um, given her views, whether she is or she isn't. I believe that she wasn't for Brexit. Um, and I think, to be quite honest, she's a bit of a ditherer. We should be out. <laughs> no, no more of this messing about. We voted out, let's get out and get on with it. Um, I have a problem now with Remainers who say we ought to have another referendum. Well, it's a democracy. If the referendum comes back as unanimous, that's, that's how it goes. You know, we don't want people moaning that they don't want to come out. Well, let them go and live in Europe then. Because I don't believe in the United States of Europe. You know, you campaign for it, so many people campaign for it. Do you think this is, you know, we, we hear now about transition, we hear now about checkers. Is this really what people voted for? Do you think Brexiteers are feeling betrayed at the minute? Well, they certainly have been betrayed. Checkers is not Brexit. Reza May isn't delivering what she promised. And, and uh, people feel very let down by that. I mean, I, I'm from the northwest of Leeds. I live uh, up near Yeadon, Geisley, that area. Uh, people around there are saying to me, you know, she said Brexit means Brexit, but Andrea Jenkins was right when she said Brexit now means remain. I what just wish they'd get on with Brexit. That seems to be what a lot of people around here are saying. Yes, so that's what you need to know. You know, that's what people need up in London, need down in London. Yes. What, second referendum, no? Definitely not. That is not democracy. The people voted. The people said they wanted out. And the latest uh, things that are coming out of uh, Europe aren't making us change our minds, are they? It's interesting. We spent the day here in Morley with a local MP, Andrea Jenkins. We spoke to a load of local people. And the feeling really on the ground is they want Brexit to be carried out without any more delay. No they more. want to see the Brexit that they voted for. They've had enough of the weak leadership and they want people to get on with it. They want politicians to get on with it and deliver what they voted for. Now we at Westmont we're going to be doing a lot more of these, going around the country, speaking to people directly. Back us. If you support what we do, go to westmonster.com forward slash support. We need your support. We're going to be going to lots more constituencies, so keep your eye out on westmonster.com and we will see you soon.